Native Erasure. Hmm. Let's talk about it. For those who don't know what Native Erasure is, it's basically a group of black people in America that are claiming that we were here first, that we didn't come from Africa. We were actually native to the Americas. And you know what? I went and researched and looked because I always like to research. And I did. And then this comment, I responded to it. Let me give you guys a little bit of the video and I'll be right back. So for people that think like you, what is your perception of Africa back then? Or the Africans back then? What do you think they were doing? Just running around in loincloths? Shooting arrows and throwing spears? You're gonna try to tell me that the Africans of back then who built fucking pyramids, the Sphinx, who had schools, libraries, who created tools, couldn't build a boat? You don't think they could travel? You don't think they could migrate to other continents? Maybe stay? See, the concept of race wasn't around back then. It was about tribes. You think Africans just stayed in Africa? Like the Vikings, they had boats, but Africans couldn't. They couldn't travel somewhere else and maybe stay there because they liked it. They couldn't have fallen in love with a native person from the Americas and said, oh, you know what, I'm gonna stay and create a family. And there you have Afro-Indigenous. No, we must claim that we own this entire fucking world. Well, we don't. I'm just saying, you really should think about your mind frame. You need to think about your mind frame because you think so bad of Africans that you really think they were running around there freaking on knowing cause. Like they had no education, no invention, no inventions. They were the first, by the way, to build a boat. But they just what? They used the boat around the continent. They didn't go anywhere else. This whole native erasure, that's how ridiculous it sounds. Because for some reason, you guys think Africans couldn't travel, couldn't migrate. Couldn't create new tribes. No, we were stuck in Africa in fucking loincloths, shooting arrows, and throwing spears. How dare you spit on the trauma of our ancestors. As you can see, I don't subscribe to the bullshit because I did my research. But someone tagged me in a video today. That's why I'm bringing it up. Of a creator that explains this way more eloquently than I could. So watch this video and I'll be right back. For melanated black, the Native Americans are the black people. Oh dear, no, no, no. Let me help you out here since African history is not taught in North America. There were many expeditions from Africa to the Americas and the most famous one was executed by Mansa Abu Bakr II, the ruler of the Mali Empire. He believed there was a world beyond the ocean, so he called to his best minds to build a fleet of ships and he sent 200 ships to look for the new world. There was enough food and water rations to last for two years and he told them, don't come back till you reach the end of the ocean or till you run out of food and water. One ship came back and the people aboard that ship told Mansa Abu Bakr II that all the other ships went into a river current and they disappeared out of sight, so they decided to come back. Mansa Abu Bakr took that as a sign that there was a land there, so in 1311, Mansa prepared 1,000 ships and put men aboard that ship. He prepared an additional 1,000 ships full of supplies and gold, total of 2,000 ships. On the second expedition, Mansa Abu Bakr II went with his crew, but he never came back. The thing is, there is no written account of his arrival. However, there is significant evidence suggesting that him and his crew did arrive in the Americas. In fact, Christopher Columbus himself wrote, based on the account of the indigenous Americans, they said, Black-skinned people had come from the southeast in boats trading in gold-tipped spears. The indigenous Americans called this gold spearhead guanine, which is actually an African word, a Mandinkan word which means gold. That was the language that was spoken in the Mali Empire, which is located right here in West Africa. When Africans set out to explore the New World, they didn't go there with the intention to colonize. They already had a lot of gold. Masa Abu Bakr II went there with sailors, builders, thinkers, artists, traders. I think Masa Abu Bakr II was vibing with the indigenous Americans that he decided not to come back. Masa Abu Bakr II had no reason to come back as he trusted his successor, Mansa Musa, which is another good story. Fun fact, Mansa Musa is the richest person in history and nobody beat his record yet. The magazine described Mansa Musa's wealth as richer than anyone could describe. Another magazine noted wealth incalculatable. So yeah, the Mollies and the indigenous Americans were vibing, but black people are not native to the Americas. See, the problem with a lot of these black folks that are in America trying to push this native erasure bullshit is y'all don't know your own history when it comes to people in Africa. 
Africa because it wasn't taught to us. That's why we don't know. Christopher Columbus in his own journals said the same shit that the Tainos and the Arawaks said that a group of black folks on a boat came with golden spears and traded way before Columbus came and colonized the, uh, the islands. Way before. But see, the difference was the Africans didn't come here to colonize. They came here to actually learn another culture. Some of them stayed. But that can't be in y'all minds though, right? Y'all can't figure that shit out. Y'all can't even visualize Africans being intelligent, being able to create shit because you motherfuckers think that we were all slaves. They didn't just take slaves. They took teachers, builders, thinkers, psychologists, healers, shamans. That's what they stole from Africa. Not people in loincloths fucking shooting arrows and throwing spears. They took the best. And then they made us slaves. This is not our land. Stop with the bullshit. Do some research. Actually research where you came from. What we need to do is build a bridge between the diasporas from the North America, South America, and the islands. Reconnect with our motherland. Reconnect with our people in Africa because they need us. Make her strong. Take the energy that you want to build in America in a, in a land that don't even like us. Go over Africa. Build over there. Make Africa strong so that when the police are killing us here, they can sanction America. Because America get a lot of resources from Africa. You notice they're not slaughtering any other race. But if Africa can sanction America, you think this shit would still happen? Stop with this division. Stop thinking we were here first because we weren't. Reconnect with the motherland. We are divided by water. But we are together by culture. We need to reconnect with our ancestors and with our people, they have pillaged Africa enough. Let's go back. That's all I'm saying. Create businesses and economic stability in Africa. Statistics show that black people in this country pump in $9 trillion to the American economy. Imagine if we were to pump a fraction of that into Africa.